<clears throat> Hello, this is James Marlow. Oh, more fuzzy. James Marlow, the time, the day, sorry, is the, um, it's the 7th of February 2012. It's 2214. And I've had a day where I just spent it at home working. Oh, I have a text. Hmm, interesting. Um, yeah, so I haven't really done a lot today, but because I'm going to get a new laptop soon, I've been going through some of my old files. And you know how the other day, or was it yesterday or the day before? I think it was the day before. I spoke about the media representation of Christianity and the church, more specifically the church. And it's something that interests me. Well, I found a document, which is an unfinished letter to the Radio Times, from um, November 2009, so just over two years old. About yeah, about me complaining about the um, representation of Christianity. 2009. Let's put it in context. I'm 21 now, so that would have made me 19 years old. Just started second year at university. Yeah, that's right. Dear Radio Times. Sketch shows are something British comedy does best. Recently, I've been enjoying that Mitchell and Webb look and the Armstrong and Miller show. However, amid the Chavy RAF pilot and the elusive Kill Them sketch, this week was slipped... Oh yeah, apologies for grammar. This week was slipped a series of short sketches which showed the church offering services like photograph printing in an effort to get people into church. Admittedly, there are problems with the church in general across the UK. They're old, dying out, sorry, dying out, and ceasing to be relevant to the man on the street. But television's depiction of Christians and the church instigates and makes it acceptable to put the church and its people down. Now, by this stage in my life, I was at Proclaimers Church, which is a modern 21st century church, which isn't dying. And so I was being, uh, what's the word? I was generalising church on the whole in the UK. Whether it's Doc Cotton Bible bashing her way through Albert Square, that bloke's documentary on the Alpha Course, which was sensationalising a very mundane course um, on by focusing on practices such as speaking in tongues, which most Alpha Courses don't even include, and his creepy voiceover, made the whole presentation very sinister and uncharacteristic of what the course is actually like. Um, however, the jewel in the crown of Christian satire is Horn and Corden's YPC, the Young People's Church. Why? Because they're not PC. Sketch. Which looks at youth ministry in its most patronising form. The sad thing is that the YPC sketch is the closest to the truth. This one, this is one of the problems the UK church has at the moment. And it is alright to point this out, and it is very funny. But... You don't go into someone else's house and insult their grandma. It wasn't their place to do that kind of satire and it isn't helpful because the satire's target audience aren't watching the show because the ones who enjoy the smutty jokes and leave with a sense of irrelevance of the church in general. Yeah, because they're the target audience. Um, church in general, which is just disrespectful of the beliefs many people have. While Armstrong and Miller sketches were about tricking people into church with gimmick with gimmicks, and I'm sure it's probably founded on some real experience the writers have had, but the truth is that's not how churches grow. They grow where non-Christians see and respect God working in the lives of their friends and family. The Armstrong and Miller sketch shows the desperation of the modern church, but let me make it clear, we are not that desperate yet. We do not, not we don't Bible bash, we're not creepy. And we are working on the problems. We all do have all. We, sorry. Working on the problems we do have. All I ask is that TV stop spreading a bad report about the church. And it's many, and it's people, mainly just out of respect. And due to us never being accurately portrayed, sorry, represented in mainstream media, we may just stop watching TV. What a knobhead, sick form thing to say, as if, as if, I mean, you can't even organise a union for things that matter, like jobs and cuts, 
obviously you can, but you know, not everyone goes. So imagine trying to get every Christian in the country to stop watching TV because of dark cotton. Imagine that. Well, the 19 year old me does. Um, we may just stop watching TV and that put a serious dent in the profitability of your medium. I'll put you back on the tripod now. And yeah, it's the whole offence thing, I suppose. I mean, nobody likes being poorly represented. And that's, and I, and I thought it would be an interesting thing to share with you, just days after two... I can't get it back on... I'll just hold it again. I think it would be an interesting thing to share with you, just two days after I said a programme accurately represented Christianity. I think that's a move forward. Although, you know, obviously, because of the nature of religion in general, and because Christianity has the um, cultural heritage in England, we are, you know, the butt of many jokes, and that's just the way it is. But it's nice to be represented a bit more accurately, and maybe, I don't know, if we're mocked in comedy as much as we used to be. I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe I just don't watch that kind of thing, because I, I select what I want to watch. Cause yeah, it's like, yeah. Oh, oh, it's fixed in. Brilliant. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just one of those things that I think about. I had to read you something I'd read. I was written two years ago though, because I've had such a tedious day that you wouldn't have wanted to um, hear about my day properly. There was an exciting moment though when I went out and got some fresh air. But I'll tell you more about that tomorrow. Anyway, good night.